Hello there YouTube. Now today we're looking at a General Electric AM FM stereo clock radio cassette player. Now some of you will have seen one of these featured on AG3304's channel. Now I actually bought this off eBay, I didn't buy this from him, he still has his own. And I believe the cassette player works on his, now it doesn't work on this, it needs some new belts. But I don't plan to use the cassette deck on this because it's actually quite high up. There's the bed you see. And here's the cupboards above the bed and then here's the radio so I mainly got this for the clock radio to wake me up on a morning to classic FM um, and on the top here we have the stop eject the forward the rewind and the play button it does not record and you can see it still has the original sticker on there that uh, gives a little bit of information the buttons there to set the clock and the snooze button which is actually a snooze S N O O Z and then we have a switch here that does radio on, off, and then you can wake up to a beeper or music. Now this morning I thought I'd set it to wake up to the radio. I'd actually set it up to wake to an alarm, so very loudly at about half past seven was a very annoying beeping noise. So I'll quickly set that back to radio. So what we're going to do now is quickly demonstrate this on the radio. Um, unfortunately the right hand speaker is very scratchy. And these are not long throw speakers, so the sound isn't brilliant, but I've turned the balance over to the left one so that we don't hear the dodgy right speaker. And you can hear how the left one sounds. Now the left one is all the way over here, the end of the room. Um, and these will be getting brand new long throw 3 inch speakers, so they should have a better sound. And it should sound a bit like ag 3304s does after the transplant. I'm also going to put on a screened cable for the speakers because... Where the cable is for the other speaker, when it runs in parallel with any mains cables, it picks up a lot of interference. So I've had to separate that, so the mains cable actually runs under all this stuff here, and then goes into the plug, and the, power, the speaker cable goes along the back of the cupboards for the time being, and that's reduced the interference quite a bit. Um, but I'm going to put some longer screened audio cables on these, and on the back, we have two phono sockets for the speakers, we have a headphone socket down here, and we have a 9 volt battery compartment for the clock. Now, this is from America, and as you can see it has a twin lead on, and yes, it runs on 110 volts, but over here, we have a transformer for it there. Now, the clock seems to be a little bit slow on its minutes, because it's actually 10.34. So I believe because of the frequency that they use over there, it's slightly different to the frequency over here, so it does affect the clock a little bit. But I'm going to demonstrate this, and as I say, we're only going to hear the left speaker because the right speaker is on the blink. But I'm sure you'll be pleasantly surprised with the sound. So this has AM, FM mono and FM stereo, a balance control, a tone control, a volume control and a tuning dial. So without further ado, let's hear how this sounds. Go in and out and pop in and out of cycling. But you know, the amount of people I speak to and they say, oh, I haven't ridden a bike since I was 14. And then when they get on it, they really enjoy it. And they're thinking, why am I enjoying this? All you're doing is pushing your legs around. And as I said, it's to do with those connections you make. While I was out cycling, I thought of a quite a, a sprightly idea. And I, I saw a lot of different pubs closing on my way, way out into sort of Cheshire and Lancashire, Yorkshire. I originally I thought, well, I could do a little tour of Cheshire and Lancashire. I'll, I'll go and play the pub, maybe stay over and play an ex-pub, you know, 30 miles, 40 miles on. And so I put an email out. So as you can hear, it does sound quite nice. And it can go quite loud, but it does start to distort after a while. So I think with long throw speakers, because the originals aren't long throw, we should have a better sound from this unit. So let's do a quick tuning of the dial. 500 miles and about... 35, 40 pubs. For somebody who loves pubs and loves geography and loves cycling and different acts. The Rolling Stones and Honky Tonk Women on BBC Radio Magic. Now there is not an external aerial on this, it's built in. So the signal isn't always the best on some stations. 
Now tune down is going to need a bit of lubrication because it's very stiff. Uh, so they're in just after midday today and we might film the whole thing as it's on YouTube. We're yet to decide that. I don't know why I said that. We need to have an internal discussion about that. Guys, let's get together. Let's get our heads together and work out whether we're filming rough copy when they come in. Uh, also coming up, Josh Record and Tiesto and Matthew Coma. Now though, pulled apart by horses and hot squash on Radio in the royal issue of House and Home, inside this week's FT Weekend. The Home Base Summer Sale is now on, and this weekend there's 15% off everything, in store and online. Home Base. Exclusions apply. Alan Titchmarsh, on Classic FM. Escape sale starts this weekend with our lowest prices ever on new 2014 models. The Luna Quasar 554 is down from 17440 to just 15,000. Now I shall put the other speaker on so you can hear how it sounds. Now definitely dust has got into the voice coil and it's very scratchy. Um, but they don't have a rolled surround on here. As you can see, there's not much of a surround. It's pretty much just a little fold. So the speaker does not move very much at all. And it's very restricted. And they're very nice little cabinets, these. Um, so these are going to be upgraded with some long throw woofers. And they should sound a lot nicer. Hopefully they'll fit as well. I think they're a 3 inch, which is what these are. So I'm going to put the speaker on and let you hear how it sounds. In fact, I shall put the bounce to the middle so we can compare. Pounds. Cooker hoods from fifty pounds and built-in fan ovens with That's clock programmer just two hundred pounds. Fine. Choose a bargain from the greatest display at direct discounts domestic appliance stores at the it junction of the old Leeds Road and Leeds Road Huddersfield and on Skirkett Road Halifax. Whatever you need from a car, MB Motor Group Bradford can oblige. We can do anything. Motability drivers are spoiled for choice with the Mitsubishi range at MB. From the Outlander, Motability's largest 4x4 seven-seat SUV, through the versatile ASX to the compact Mirage. Available with nil advance payment. For Motability, visit us at Killing Hall Road. So as you can hear, it's very, very scratchy, is that one at the minute? It all started so well. TV, pop music, sexual freedom, but now the baby boomers... So Yes, these are going to get the replacement speakers today, and hopefully when the cable arrives, they'll get the brand new screened cable, which should help reduce interference. So we'll try this on AM radio and see what it sounds like. Let's put it back onto the working speaker, eh? Thank you very much. Yeah, of course, Matthew Tessier there talking about Southampton's exodus of the players who lost yet. I mean, of course they're going to win it. Yeah. Yeah. But eventually it did get a release in this country, and that's when it really brought Bobby to the fore.
accident I had, it was a nice, it was my dad, made me feel good. So go Brazil, that's now with Paddy Power. Single first and our score score a correct score and scorecast bets only max three better hundred pounds valid for seven days. Take not included in winnings offer. With their faces in golden rays. Don't kid yourself, they belong to you. They're the start of the coming race. The others are bitch. We finished our news. So as you can hear, this does has quite does have quite a nice sound. Um, but it will sound a lot better with some long throw speakers in, definitely, as this does have quite a porky little amplifier for its size. Now, apparently it draws 6 watts from the mains, so that's probably about 3 watts a speaker. It doesn't draw very much power. So, yes, this is a nice little addition to the collection, and it's going to sit here on top of the cupboard. And the speakers are definitely getting their replacement today, because I can't go another day listening to that speaker sound as bad as it does. So that speaker's definitely seen better days. So, bye for now.